and what's going on fontaine here vip soundlab.com not going to run too long just want to show you this new expansion that we just created for contact and we're calling the contact battle drums basically it's just an expansion of our machine battle drums and the reason why this is so dope man and i spent a lot of time on this i thought it was dope because it gives you the opportunity to actually switch out sounds real quick when you're in your session because i noticed that i've been getting a lot of emails a lot of producers been hitting me up and i've been taking into account their workflow and how they want to go about making music so i was like yo let me go ahead and put this together right quick because i came up with a concept i was like yo this would be dope like this man because what i did was i separated each midi channel for the snares the hi-hats the kicks and all that so i noticed like a lot of producers want that so i was like yo let me go ahead and incorporate this into one of our expansions because i think it'll be a dope idea man because that's that's what like a lot of producers want and then it dawned on me and i was like yo that also gives you an opportunity to browse sounds quick and switch them out real quick. So for example, okay, like here's one group right here. It's a, it's a snare group, right? So I, I can go through the snares. So I, can, I can go through the snares like real quick. I'm tapping on a MIDI keyboard, by the way. But um, cause it's on a different MIDI channel. Okay, so let's say if I was down here, say like on the kicks down here, and let's say I'll hit it like a kick like this. It's like a gritty kick. See, now I could be over here messing with the kicks and be over here on the snares on my keyboard. You know, just browsing sounds, just looking for what I want. Real, it's, you know, just real time browsing real fast and easy from the entire drum library. Now this gets a lot more complex. So stick with me and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So for example, let's just say for the sake of argument, here I am over here inside machine and I'm gonna make this into a, uh, a template also. But, um. Okay, on MIDI track one, which is contact, if you saw my last tutorial video on how to get your uh, MIDI channels tracked out, you know, you might want to take a look at that. But this comes so like anytime you add a new instrument, it's going to automatically make the MIDI group go up. If it doesn't, you just go right here, you press port A and you assign your channels in a corresponding order. But anyway, for example, I think it's dope, man. So like if I'm making my drum beat and then I feel like, okay, well, You know, just something real simple, just like a boom, boom, crack, boom, crack, boom, 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 crack, boom, crack. You know, a quick one bar loop. Just because I wanted to show this feature, man. So I was like, yo, now I can highlight these snares and say if I want to change them up. Now I'm doing real time changing of the snares. And this goes on like forever, man, because. I'm just showing a couple of them because I don't want to make the video too long. I just want to hit you guys with this video because if you're a producer who likes to make music like I do, yo, I can't even explain or stress how important that is. Now you do this same feature with your kicks, your hi hats, and your snares. You have a multi-track MIDI session where you can change up sounds. You can come back even after you after you made a beat. You could come back and just move these sounds around, and make a whole new beat off the basically same MIDI pattern that you had. Man, I'm telling you, man, that, man, that's crazy. You know, and then I got like synth sounds too. Okay, like for example, it goes like some pizzy strings. Okay. Now, if you're on your uh, MIDI keyboard, of course, you got the octaves. You can go up and down the octaves. Like this right here, you see right here, that's MIDI channel six. So that'll be over here. You know, if you're inside your software, I'll drop the octave down. See that? And I'll show you where that's at. Because if I hold the key down, that's the easy way to find it on the uh, the MIDI screen here. See it way down there? And then if I go up. And it's also velocity sensitive. Like if I tap on the, uh, the keyboard real light. See, it's kind of light. If I hit it harder. See how it gets louder? You know, so the velocity is there, so you can control your velocity on that, so that's dope. 
And another dope thing about it, again, I don't want to run too long. I just want to show you this this new expansion, man. Why I think it's dope and you definitely want to have in your arsenal. And believe it or not, we're not going to go crazy like some companies and make it like a whole $149 or $50 like crazy, man. So we're going to keep it the same price as a regular drum kit. We're going to keep it at $20, man. $20, you can't beat that. You get all these sounds. And I think I put like, man, it's, it's a lot of sounds in here, man. I have to go back inside this folder and look. But for example, here's the instruments here, right? I even got combos in there where I got like kicks doubled up with hi-hats. You got your hi-hats. Now keep in mind, all these is on separate MIDI channels. Okay, so let's say if you're producing, you're like, okay, man, but what about if I want to get in here and 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 play like a live drummer does? I want to I want to play my kicks, my hi hats, and my snares at the same time. I ain't no problem. I thought about that too, because over here in the multis um tab here, I put five drum kits in there. Okay, and also put some combos up here. Now you say, okay, well, five drum kits that ain't a lot, but where this drum kit difference is, you got to understand when I'm mapping these sounds out. It could be like 20, 30 kicks just in the lower octaves and then another 20, 30 hi-hats in the mid-range, then like another 30 snares, followed by another 30 to 40 percussion sounds, followed by like some crashes. And then I even got some instruments in here where like towards like the higher range, I like even through like some instruments towards the top of the key range. Now, I'm not sure how big your MIDI keyboard is. I'm just using a 61 key. But as I go up the octaves, I have like some instrument sounds up here, hi-hats down here, snares, kicks. So it's just like it's like one monster. I should I should have called the I should have called this expansion the beast. I should, that's what I should have called it the beast because it got like everything up in this joint. So you got these drum kits here, your multis, you got your instruments there. I mean, what more could you ask for? And you got everything tracked out on many channels if you want to do it that way too. You know, so if you want, you know, your your kicks here, your hi hats here on this channel, and I mean it's ready to go. I even got the machine template set up with the MIDI already routed. So you can come in here and change out your instruments and do what you want to do. And the MIDI's already done. You ain't got to even mess with that. So why even fight about it? You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, I even have instructions on how to load the library because all it is, the library, when you go on it, you just simply, um, you add the library and you're going to see the contact battle drum come over here on the browser and, uh, and contact. Okay. Here's the information icon, right? So I even added, you know, I know some people might have problems, let's say with missing samples. Here's a fix missing samples uh, tutorial in a document that I, that I put in there that's going to show you how to even fix that if you're having problems with that. Okay, if you move your folder, et cetera, et cetera. I also put a manual in here that I made, you know, as far as um, getting it set up. So, for example, let's go to here's the manual here. Well, this is the draft that I have on my computer here, okay? what you'll have you know it won't it won't look like this depending on what you have to open it but for example contact battle drums library instructions right okay you press add library which is pretty basic because people who use contact already know how to add sounds but you know you go to add library okay you select the contact battle drums folder okay you press okay boom you do that all right once you do that the ni helper comes up which is going to show you how or rather, it helps you load the library. Okay, and after clicking yes on the NI helper, the contact battle drums image will appear on the left contact browser, as I was just showing you there. Then from there, man, it's all it's easy. It's just that quick. I mean, it literally takes like two seconds to load the instrument. Then you come over in the browser, you grab your sounds, and you drag them over. And you drag them over, they load up. <clears throat> okay, and you select your MIDI channels as it's explaining here. Okay. And of course, it shows you how to select your instruments. You know, if you're on the keyboard, this is the keyboard mode here. You know, just so nobody gets confused on that. Like, um, and it's also, this is just showing how to uh, shrink your views down. Yeah, when you're selecting your instruments here, when this rectangle appears, okay, and you're tapping like this here, you know, then you can go up octaves like this here. Like this here. Okay, even more sounds. So man, a ton of sounds on each instrument here of, of sound. So if you're doing it like this and you touch your keyboard, it's not going to work like that. You have to be on the corresponding MIDI channel. Okay, this is MIDI channel two. So if I touch my keyboard, you're going to hear the first instance, which is the snare. And you're going to be like, yo, <laughs> why I can't hear it? That's because you got to go over here and machine, either touch your pad on machine or just touching the software like this. See what I mean? 
then you get down into the you know to the hi hats or whatever. So that's basically how that works. And man, I just can't stress enough how dope this this expansion is, man. So you definitely want to check it out. You know what I'm saying? Add it to your arsenal and get busy. Man, look at the time. I'm running a little bit too long. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm really excited about it, man, because I think it's just that dope. You know what I mean? So I ain't going to run. So I just want to show you that, share that with you. And that's pretty much it, man. I will see you guys on the next one. I'm going to upload this up on the site now. So you guys can, you know, if you want to dive into it and get your feet wet. And again, it comes with a very large library of sounds. Because, for example, if I go over here and let's say go to my contact battle drums folder here. Okay. As you can see right here, I even put a, a rowdy, a routing MIDI tutorial in there. You know, if you're if you're not familiar with how to get your MIDI routed, there's a folder in there. You click on this folder and there's a video in there that explains to you how to get your MIDI channel set up. OK, you have the instruments here. You have your multis here and also have uh, the sample uh, folder here. OK, so here's the sample folder. OK, and as you can see right here, all the instruments are laid out, you know, from combos, hi hats, kicks, snares. OK, so let's say if you're in another DAW, you know, when you're not in machine or you might not be in contact standalone, you still get all the sounds, you know, so it's like, it's like, it's like a, a triple threat right there. Cause you're getting the library sounds are all in a wave format. So you can use them. You can, you can make your own drum kits out of them, whatever the case may be. You can use them in machine or, or as a standalone instrument. It's up to you, but yeah, man, this, this joint is, it's, it's a beast, man. <laughs> it's a beast. I got 808s in here, you know, for the, for, you know, the Miami producers, you know, all of that. All right, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.